I woke up one morning, and, and it's in the book here too, but I, uh, my middle daughter had just gotten married and you know, a few months before, and she's brand new pregnant, and she's so excited. And I had this thought in my mind as I woke up, her mother's eyes are like pools in a sea of grief when she was a child. And I thought, ooh, I hope that's not Amy. And then I thought, oh wait, you know, one of her good friends just had lost a full term baby. And my mother lost three pregnancies. And so I knew that. So on the way, we had just gotten back from a trip and we were taking the rental car back. And on the way, I just was kind of, well, Lori, that's an interesting thought because I just put it posted on Facebook to the friend who had lost her full term baby. And then I'm thinking, I just affirmed her loss. I didn't comfort her. And I thought, Lord, help me to come up with something that is comforting. Then I called the uh, friend whose granddaughter, whose mother had just lost her baby, you know, her granddaughter had. And she said, Judy, that is not just for those who have lost babies. What you have written is for your cancer patients you're working with. It's for anyone that's lost anything. You know, it's lost their job, lost their health, lost. And so that day I gave a copy of that to one of my new cancer patients and several years later she showed me it was still in her wallet. We have a wonderful friend, Jeannie Spratt. She did this, a mother's eyes are like pools in a sea of grief. And uh, so she did such a beautiful job. As I was writing, I'd never thought about emotions can be like Noah's Ark cruising around inside your forehead. In part of it, we're talking about how we feel like we're in the desert but then God's tears mingle with ours. And here, if you look in the cloud, you'll see God's face with tears, and it turns the desert into an oasis. So he joins with us and helps our life to become the masterpiece that he intended. You know, life sometimes breaks our pot. Sometimes we haven't even begun. And so we're all in different stages. But uh, he takes us and says, you know, all these things are making you my masterpiece. His hand is there when we're at the end of our rope, holding on when we think we might turn loose. Have you ever felt like a flood of emotion? Here's Noah's Ark. I said, I want Noah's Ark cruising around in the forehead because when you feel overwhelmed, you've got this flood of emotions. I'd never thought about using the Bible stories in this, you know, this way too. The lions, I started out with just one ferocious lion. I had two of my cancer patients sitting there and one of them said, ah, that's scary. And the other one said, but that's how I feel. She said, I know, but I need something calm. So I called the artist and I said, I need a calm face because after your ferocious times, the Lord comes and shuts those lions' mouths.